Hi students. So today, as a part of the nanomaterials, I am going to discuss the very important uh, preparation method for the preparation of the nanomaterials. So this particular method is most extensively used for the preparation of nanomaterials as well as nanofilms. So that particular preparation method which is most extensively used for the preparation of the nanomaterials and the nanofilms is laser ablation. Laser ablation. And uh, we know very well that laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And whereas the ablation stands for removal. Now based upon this, we can, we can say that the removal of the laser, right? The removal of the laser because the name is suggesting that laser is light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation and ablation is the removal. Right. But exactly it is not the removal of the laser. It means that making use of the laser, making use of the laser, we are going to remove the desirable particles from the target molecule. We are going to remove the desirable particles from the target molecule making use of the laser. So that is the reason this particular method of preparation of uh, the nanomaterials is called as laser ablation. So before going to discuss uh, the laser ablation with one of the example, I would like to discuss the very important points related to the laser ablation. So already you said that this particular laser ablation is the most extensively used for the preparation of nanomaterials and nanofilms. This is the first important point. And coming to the second point, in this method, high energetic, high energetic pulsed beam of laser, pulsed beam of laser, whose capacity is 10 to the power of 7 watt per centimeter cube. 10 to the power of 7 watt per centimeter cube is being used. And this particular high energetic pulsed beam of laser which is being uh, maintained at uh, 10 to the power of 7 watt per 7 centimeter cube is focused on the target in which the desirable part particles are present. Desirable particles are present. Now, this particular energy, we can say that it is, this is highly energetic. So, since it is highly energetic, uh, we can say that, uh, we can say that uh, definitely the target molecule, whenever this particular laser is being focused, will be associated with high temperatures. So, whenever it is associated with the high temperature, under the influence of the high temperature, whatever the desirable particles which are a part of the targets are being removed means comes out from the target molecule and these target molecules are carried by the carrier gases onto the surface of uh, the coolant, onto the surface of the coolant where the condensation of the vapors of the desirable particles takes place. That is, in this particular method, the high energetic pulsed beam of laser is focused on the target in which the desirable particles are present. Now, under the influence of this highly energetic uh, pulsed beam of uh, the laser, whatever the desired particles which are a part of the target vaporizes vaporizes and uh, with the help of uh, the carrier gases which are being used during this particular method these carrier gases will carry the vaporized particles on the surface of the coolant now once uh, these vaporized particles reaches the surface of the coolant they condense on the surface of the coolant uh, and those condensed vapor of uh, 
द पार्टिकल्स और नथिंग बट नैनो पार्टिकल्स और नैनो फिल्म नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस द लेजर अपलेशन मैथड लेजर अपलेशन मैथड बाई वन एग्जाम्पल so this laser ablation method ablation method is uh, extensively used for the preparation of carbon nanotubes now let us discuss how by making use of the laser a laser ablation method we are going to prepare the carbon nanotubes so first and foremost do remember that making use of the laser ablation we, are, we can prepare the single walled carbon nanotubes as well as some multi walled carbon nanotubes multi walled carbon nanotubes and in this particular method that is in this particular method of laser ablation for the preparation of the carbon nanotubes what could be the target students carbon nanotube the product is the carbon nanotube but the name itself suggests that uh, the target should be rich in the carbon content now what is that substance which is rich in the carbon content the substance which is rich in the carbon content is graphite now here the target is the graphite composite target is graphite composite graphite composite and in this graphite we are going to impregnate 1% of either the cobalt or nickel metal which acts as a, a catalyst which acts as a catalyst now this target which is a graphite composite which comprises 1% of either the cobalt or the nickel should be taken in the towards the furnace which is being maintained at 1200 degrees centigrade under the organ atmosphere organ atmosphere now what exactly is uh, the purpose of the organ here it is the carrier gas and what exactly the carrier gas will do already i have explained in the beginning right so which can be illustrated by this particular figure i do remember that this particular preparation of the carbon nanotubes making use of the laser ablation totally depends upon the laser which we are going to use in the preparation of carbon nanotubes the laser which is going to be used for the preparation of carbon nanotubes by this particular laser ablation method is nd yag laser nd stands for neodymium and y stands for yttrium a stands for aluminium g stands for garnet g stands for garnet g a r n e t g a r n e t garnet is nothing but silicate mineral silicate mineral so neodymium doped yttrium aluminium garnet is used as a laser here now the question should be arise in your mind that why only this particular laser should be used in this particular laser ablation method for the preparation of the carbon nanotubes the reason is very clear because what we are going to do here we are going to focus the laser on to the on to the graphite target right in order to remove the carbon content from it now it is not easy to remove the carbon content uh, from the graphite because because the graphite is is tremendous the graphite has tremendous strength why the graphite has tremendous strength the graphite has a tremendous strength due to the powerful covalent bonds between the adjacent carbon atoms now it is not easy to break those strong covalent bonds which are holding the adjacent carbon atoms in the graphite target so now we need the powerful 
powerful laser that powerful laser which can break the covalent bonds which can break the strong or powerful covalent bonds which are holding the adjacent carbon atoms in the graphite target is NDIAG laser that is the reason NDIAG laser is being used because it is powerful and what it will do already I have explained here so why it is powerful because NDIAG laser is a four level laser system it is a four level laser system that means four energy levels are involved in the laser action four energy levels are involved in the laser action four energy levels are involved in the laser action means just imagine how powerful it is so since it is uh, the powerful one it breaks the very powerful uh, bonds which are uh, between the adjacent carbon atoms in the graphite by which whatever the carbon content which is present inside the graphite uh, will come out that is it vaporizes, vaporizes. now <clears throat> this is the reaction chamber or we can uh, say that this is the furnace which is made up of quartz and this is the graphite target so actually it is the composite of the graphite and what is graphite composite already have discussed now what we need to do is we have to focus nd yag laser onto the graphite target when we focus the nd yag laser onto the graphite target as it is powerful what it will do students it will break the powerful adjacent powerful covalent bonds which are there between the adjacent carbon atoms by which is whatever the carbon content which is present in the graphite comes out that means it vaporizes the carbon content which is present inside the graphite vaporizes once it is vaporizes vaporized then this vaporized carbon content is carried by the carb carried by the carrier gas what is the carrier gas carrier gas is the organ already have discussed carrier gas is the organ now what the organ will do is it will carry this carbon content onto the surface of the water cooled collector onto the surface of the water cooled collector now once the carbon content reaches the water cooled collector with the help of the carrier gas which is so called as organ they gets condensed on the surface of the water cooled collector now whatever the material which is being condensed whatever the carbon particles which are being condensed on the surface of the water cooled collector are nothing but the carbon nano tubes carbon nano tubes now the carbon nano tubes have been accumulated on the surface of this water cooled collector in fact what is happening is whenever the nd yag laser is focused on the surface of the graphite target whatever the carbon content which is present inside the graphite target is coming out means it is vaporizing and this vaporized carbon content is carried by the carrier gas which is the organ on the surface of the water cooled collector now on the surface of the water cooled collector what happens exactly the condensation of the carbon particles takes place now because of the condensation of the carbon particles on the surface of the water cooled collector the carbon content will be converted into the carbon nanotubes now whatever the particles whatever the carbon particles which have been accumulated on the surface of the water cooled collector is carbon nanotubes carbon nanotubes now the diameter of the single walled 
nanotubes that is carbon nanotubes by this method varies from 1.0 to 1.6 nanometers so see how it is decreasing or reducing the size of the particle it is reducing the size of the particle to 1 to 1.6 nanometer c so since it is reducing the size of the bulk particles to 1 to 1.6 nanometers we can say that uh, it is the most effective method for the preparation of the nano particles so since it is the most effective method for the preparation of the nano particles that is the reason this particular method of laser ablation is extensively used for the preparation of nanomaterials and nanofilms and not only that moreover whatever the nanomaterials which are going to be formed during the laser ablation method their purity will be around 90 percent their purity will be around 90 percent so 90 percent means just imagine how laser ablation method for the preparation of nanomaterials is precise more efficient so since it is most more efficient that is the reason which prompts us to rely or depend upon the laser ablation in order to prepare the pure nanomaterials but only the disadvantage associated with this particular method is it is not cost effective it is not economical it is costing that is the reason we are not relying or depending only on the laser ablation method for the preparation of nano materials i hope you understood this uh, particular preparation method for the preparation of uh, the carbon nano tubes making use of laser ablation method so do comment on the video so in the next video i will make uh, the more videos on uh, uh, the preparation as well as the properties of the nanomaterials because uh, so many comments i'm getting i'm getting so many comments on uh, the nanomaterials to make uh, so many videos on uh, the nanomaterials but definitely i will make so many videos on the nanomaterials and the nanoscience no doubt in that but it takes some time so thanks for watching this.